Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In recent days, questions have been raised in the press and elsewhere regarding the presence of offensive weapon systems in Cuba. And welcome back to Kingsport 1962 uh, broadcast tonight at Halloween. So happy Halloween, everyone. I'm Kat. Uh, we have our full original cast back tonight, which is great. So uh, I'm going to let them all talk about how awesome they are. And we'll start with Agatha, because she is extremely awesome. <laughs> I'm Agatha. I'm playing Bev, uh, Bev Hunter. She's the heir. Uh, last session, a lot of things happened with Bev. She, um, she made a blood pact with her sisters to to kill off her brothers first to break this curse of patriarchy upon the hunter family um and uh, have mainly succeeded there's only one brother left uh gain some more moves from the other siblings dying like brief candles which is when bev kills someone by mark experience which is great because i have no experience so far and also and uh an inclusive family which is when characters with the the like a sibling to me condition uh, are there, they count as my sibling. Don't worry, this is all going to turn out well and you'll have a wonderful Thanksgiving. <laughs> so next we can go to David, who's playing Xanthus, our Fae. Yep, um, I'm playing Xanthus Prince, the Fae. Um, as of um, last session, the uh, the plans for uh, putting on the um, King and Yellow are somewhat on hold at the moment uh, due to extenuating circumstances. Um, the uh, um, Xanthus got to uh, know another boy in class, Dennis, who um, seemed to uh, be somewhat fond of him. Um, there was a somewhat awkward uh, evening spent between um, Xanthus, Mal, and uh, Dennis, not to be confused with Bev's brother dennis um which ended interestingly for all concerned i think um xanthus is currently in his dark self um uh as as a result of uh, having had a tryst with a mortal um and yeah things are gonna get interesting but happily i'm sure uh, why don't we go next to River, who is playing Wendy, our sulky. <clears throat> yep, I'm playing Wendy. She was not around for the previous session. Uh, so just can canonically, she's been helping her uncles uh, repair their boat and uh, has just received notification that the person holding her pelt has died. Right? That happened? It ish <laughs> right <clears throat> that something has gone on with the person holding her pelt so that that is the state that we will that we will find her in uh she is also um a medic pixie seal girl so that's there we go <laughs> yeah but you know everybody likes manic pixie girls so you'll be fine uh, next is the marvelous Seraphina and Malcolm are uh, infernal. So speaking of people who are in their darkest selves, Mal's having a really rough time. Uh, Mal killed somebody and isn't feeling super great about it. Um, and uh, is locked in a bomb shelter with Bev's frankly intense family. Um, and uh, really uh, has been having just a weird night. Um, the guy that was interested in sort of stealing my boyfriend is now possessed by the traveler. Uh, that's weird. Um, it's just, everything's not going super well for Mal right now. <laughs> yeah, this is where normally I say something fake positive, but you're screwed. And finally, Simon, uh, uh, who is playing Luca, our witch. So, yeah, I'm playing Luca Presca, the witch, who apparently is on retainer for the Hunter family. Um, I have officiated the blood pack that happened, and 
uh, right now I have no idea where I am. So I uh, I'll actually have no idea what happens to me before every session, it seems. Well, we can fix that error fairly quickly. So, uh, to recap... Oh yeah, I'm, I'm like a sibling to the hunters right now. So. Oh yeah, that's important. Yes. That is, that is super and, and, important. And I man. fought the younger sister a bit of magic, which I shouldn't have. That's right. Uh, there's a book involved. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. A lot of threads here. Uh, yeah. So let's put... So to recap slightly, uh, last session, uh, there was an air raid siren. Um, and I found a really cool clip that I put in for the post credit scene. Uh, but when that goes off, uh, I'd like to know where uh, Wendy and Luca are, because I have a feeling that they're close by to each other. Right. So um, we could have, what, what time of day is it, just out of curiosity? Uh, I think it was afternoon on a weekend. OK. So it's, it's possible that uh, Wendy could have gone into town for some refreshments or something like that for her uncles, or maybe Luca has a reason to be out by the docks. Hmm. What reason could I have to be by the docks? I'm pretty sure I can come up with something. Would be cool. Um, I think la uh, the last thing I, I wanted to do was to seek out Troy. So maybe he wasn't at the Hunter family estate at that moment, so I went out in town to find him. That that works for me. Who is cool. Troy again? Uh, Troy. Wait, did I X off the wrong brother? Uh, who's the last Troy's one my left? brother. Yeah, Troy is the last one left. Okay. Troy is the last one cool. left. Okay. Yeah, because he killed Dennis uh, on the way to the shelter and then killed uh, Rodney inside the shelter. Gotcha. No, okay. Horribly ironic. It's it's hard to. Well, I mean, where else are we going to kill him? Let Let's be honest. This is fair. <laughs> so cool. I guess you are working on the boats, maybe, or maybe you went up to to uh, you like wa are walking towards town to get some supplies. Yeah, I think that's that. the the easiest thing. I'm I just sort of run into him as we are going about our errands. Probably start with that little awkward introduction. Oh, hey, and then. Bam! Alarm siren goes off, and why don't we take it from there? Uh, before the alarm siren, just as the alarm siren goes on, I think. Uh, uh, oh, uh, um, what what was it that Bert was saying to say? Dr uh, don't take cover. Uh, D duck and cover. D D duck and cover. Where's the nearest shelter? Maybe I, we should get some. I have no idea where to go for this. It's uh, mostly none. Devin, you lived here your whole life? Yes, but it seems like I'm paying attention. <laughs> I dashed. I just grab your arm and dash towards the, the malt shop because <laughs> I figure if if it's in the if it's in a public enough place, there will either be people there or there will be signs. <clears throat> All right, yeah, fantastic. Uh, yeah, the friendlies. Uh, people are s losing their stuff. Uh, there's kids hiding under the table. Um, uh, people are like trying to knock, break down the basement door. Uh, so cool. What do you do when you get there? Uh, hmm. I do not believe that this will provide adequate shelter. I say, looking around. Uh, Can't you just cast a spell to find a safe place? <laughs> I, I wish. Uh, what do I? Oh, yeah, no, I don't. I don't think I can. Is 
Mon, so they, uh, Mon, are, they, are there space be, behind under the tables or anything like that? I, I think it, in a Monster Hearts game, there's always a please, space please. that two people can crouch together <laughs> in complete in very close quarters. Okay, right. so uh, I think I think we're going to say something like, uh, "We don't have time to just wander around and find somewhere safe." So I I grab you and pull you under the the table. This isn't very private, though. No. I guess not. I... You know, I really did want to have sex with a human before I was vaporized. Uh, uh, what? what? <laughs> I... Uh... <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> yes. Why? Why Please. don't? You, why don't you roll? <clears throat> <laughs> oh dear. I'm more put uh, off by the word human, but. I mean, it's not like you aren't human. No. Uh, it's the fact that you you have to specify human that <laughs> is a bit a weird. Seven. <laughs> Everybody's favorite result. Uh, so, oh, yes, uh, absolutely. As a reminder, you can either give a string to the person, or you can choose one of the three reactions on a seven through nine. Uh, I think what we'll do in real life will be, be embarrassed and like awkward. But I'm in the role playing game. Let's do something else. I can give myself to you. Are we just going to start making out on? on in the uh... under the table at, at uh, in the mall shop, and while there's a nuclear apocalypse and pending, yeah, you pretty know, much. So, <laughs> silly question about uh, Luca. I have the impression that he is a fairly skinny boy. Yep. Okay, I think she stands up and casts the table off and picks you up and like walks past the people that are trying to get into the basement and just. And just like uses her her sealy mask because they're actually rather heavy, and she just <laughs> knocks the door off its hinges and <laughs> carries you into the basement. All right. Stops. Very courteously lifts you over the threshold. <laughs> they <get> downstairs. <laughs> Whispers um, into your ear. I saw this in a I saw this in a movie once. <laughs> So, uh, uh, let's exchange sex moves. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, well, you get it's a string. Pain. Our characters just have to, uh, just have to throw themselves at each other, right? That's how that works. Mm-hmm. Uh, just saying, look, look at all the time trying to act, um, a, a bit frail, like like he wants to be taken care of. That is a okay. That is kind of my character's jam. Okay, so she's uh, such a service top. <clears throat> uh, you it so uh, your Mac concession with Luca counts as submerging yourself in water, in water. and you yep. gain a string on Luca. And Luca gets to take a sympathetic token from you. And, and it's you, cool. And it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. So yeah, what what's the token you get? Uh, or give. Do you wanna name it or should I Simon? Uh if if there if there's something you want to offer. <clears throat> Let me mark uh a string on you and um let me see here if i think she um she actually i imagine she was wearing overalls or something like that because she's in the muck and everything mm -hmm. and she has a a cloth that she has been using to wipe her brow and stuff like that. And so it's there and it just, the smell of her is just heavy on it. 
Alright. Wow. Wow. That, that I'm going to keep, yes. I gotta say, that's kind of hot. <laughs> um, so let's take a quick cut over to uh, Shea Apocalypse. Things always have a smell when they come from one of my characters. <laughs> Sorry. And that's the tagline for tonight's episode. <laughs> um, so uh, over at Shea Apocalypse, uh, in the bomb shelter, uh, we have Mal, we have Bev, we have poor Troy, and we have the Dennis slash the Traveler. And, and the, also uh, yeah, and the sisters. Yeah. Rhonda so. and Debbie. So you're Macbeth witching it. And uh, yeah, so you are. So I think we left with the three sisters just all staring at Troy. Um, I turned to Debbie. Debbie Rope. Rope. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, uh, she, she, fut she futzes around on the shelves and comes back with a, with a length of plastic rope. Mal slowly fades into the background. Oh, well, I turn to you. <laughs> Hold him down, would you? You know, I think when it comes to the uh, wholesale murder, I'm out for the rest of the evening. I think I'm, I think I'm done with it. Oh, man, Troy's not dead. Well, I could have this move. You're all the same. And I could use a string to motivate you. Oh, uh, I failed <laughs> in my <laughs> sibling no, murdering sibling. order. Oh, well. Sibling. Okay. Um, okay. I, I give you a look like I'm disappointed in you. And cool. I'm going to go talk to Dennis. I turn to my sisters and like gesture towards Troy and I kind of like unravel the rope so that it's just, I don't know, the perfect garroting length. Okay. Wow. Um, cool. Uh, I think uh, Rhonda turns to you and she says, what do you think will happen if we kill the last male sibling? We'll find out. I mean, this has never happened before, so maybe it's special, right? Rhonda. Yeah? You, you want to keep talking or you want to hold him down? Got it. Got it. Uh, so we can, uh, we can just draw the bill over that. Oh, I don't have to roll <laughs> volatile to kill. There's no, uh, do you say any last thing to Troy? Mm. Because I'm telling you, Troy loses it. He is crying. Yeah. I think I actually um like yeah so <laughs> while he's crying and being held down I like cuz I was just going to stand like above him so that so basically he wouldn't be able he wouldn't actually be able to see me but I'm going to go and and crouch in front of him you know, I'm going to look into his eyes, which are this exactly the same as mine. And I'll say, I'm sorry, Troy. I guess this is what we were all supposed to do, but father always, father always warned us that we, we had to split you guys up first. I guess he was right. Just don't let it take too long. Do my best. 
Okay. Uh, as a reminder <laughs> of our lines and veils, since I didn't do the safety camera discussion on camera, and yes, yes, this is this is a thing that's happening right now. Thank you, Willow. Uh, yeah. So uh, we'll just just veil this little scene of, of horrible cold-blooded murder. And as a reminder, we do have the X card in play. Uh, so if you need to just call it out or cross your hands or use the uh, roll for your party, and we will stop, rewind, and get rid of the content that we found to be problematic. So cool. Um, yeah, so you're talking to Dennis, Mel? Yeah, yep. I'm going to go in the corner and talk to Dennis. This is interesting. You know, there was a, there was a tribe here uh oh five thousand years ago but in this region that had a remarkably similar culture you mean with the child killing well they were considered adults by their by the standards of their moral race oh well okay sure um i'm just gonna face away from it nope the sounds make it worse i'm gonna sit with it in the corner of my mm, it doesn't look great either so, how you feeling? Uh, this body's going to require a certain amount of adjustment. Yeah. But, yes, but uh, other than that, I, I f it should give me a very interesting view into, uh, into a different side of the cultural hierarchical setup of your town. How do we get out of here? Oh. Huh. Well, it seems to be some sort of primitive time lock. Undoubtedly, it will open within a set period of time. Uh, that is most likely to, uh, as a safety feature, to prevent uh, e prevent you from allowing people into the shelter in a dangerous period where you could be exposed or contaminated. So, so, but you're supposed to be observing the stuff happening on the surface, right? Or not there. That's a, uh, well, yes, that's true. So, shouldn't we try and get out? Hmm. Because if this thing's going to keep us in here for like a week, I feel like Kay's going to be a little upset at both of us for being in a hole when we're supposed to be looking at stuff. Well, upset is an emotional state, and I wouldn't quite call it that, but um, there would be a certain uh, increase of, an inef of inefficiency around me. Uh-huh. This is a fair uh, comment. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to remember now here, uh, Mel. Oh, strings attached is the move you have, yes? Uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> so uh. let's see. Uh, oh, that's right. You're also on Darkest Self, huh? I am, yeah. Oh, this is fantastic. Don't uh, really well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. How can I make this terrible for you? Great. Uh, cool. All right. Well, Malcolm, I'm afraid I'll need your assistance. Cool. With what? Have you ever done any of the rituals that you humans so charmingly call magic? No. I see. Well, we're fortunate in that the psychic release of energy occasioned by the murder of Troy does create a certain amount of energy that we can capture and manipulate. Okay. Um... I need you to look inside your darkest self and help me to uh, find a hyperspace. Well, I'll guide your hand. <laughs> that dude, didn't you? No, that one's coming in no matter where I go. <laughs> you and me, kid. That one's coming in. Um, mm. oh, okay. So... Why don't we treat this as uh, looking yes. into the abyss because you're going to get some feedback from the hyperspace. So ask me a question that you find interesting. Um, I mean, let's go with a way out. Okay. 
looking for a way out. Why don't you get? Why don't you roll plus dark for me? Oh no! Oh no no! Mm-mm. Bad you know, friends. you can give me a string. <laughs> I can't. I can't give you a string because I just rolled a five. <laughs> uh, if you give me a, if you uh, give me a string, that will. Uh, right, you took the power. Uh, then I'm that will sorry. give. That will add two to the roll, and at least you'll just have terrifying visions instead of a six. Okay. I hate that, but sure. Let's go with five now. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Not great. Uh, no, not great at all. And I'm going to start calling those in, probably. Uh, cool. <sighs> okay. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, that you're all the same power. Uh, that allows you to spend strings on any sibling, right? Interchangeably, yes. See, uh, this is the vision, the ho- terrifying vision, and I think it's fairly mundane, but you will find it terrifying as you and uh, and uh, the traveler Jimmy at the lock, and he does something that makes things look foreshortened and weird. Um, you have a vision of the portrait hall in in the Hunter home, which you probably have not seen in Waking Life. Mm-hmm. And the funny thing is, is um, your picture is there hanging right next to Troy's. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. Don't so like that. Why don't you temporarily also claim the uh, you're all the same move for yourself? Great. I hate that. Um, because and as and we can just tie this all together uh yes yeah, so bev uh w- after it's done and you and your sisters are looking around and you're like wait a minute i don't feel any different oh no and yeah. then and then i think maybe you all turn to look at now <laughs> oh interesting um oh no he is like a sibling to you and luca is too yeah. Um I I think I should I family portrait should probably go off at some point when I uh killed Oh yeah. Yeah, 100% that trip. When I killed Troy. Yes. We're I'm not sure who I should gain the string on, but I guess it doesn't super matter anymore. No, so, not anymore. Show my sibling how dangerous I am to remind them I'm in charge. Okay, so I'll add one, I guess, to the pool of strings, which is six. Um, now. Hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, this may be one of those things like, Dennis, hurry up. <laughs> Dennis, uh, keep, uh, keep doing the... Do you know how many potential combinations there are to this lock? Do you know how dead I'm about to be? <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah, so I think it's one of those, uh, the door kicks open, Xanthus is standing there, like, mid-pounding on the door. I come to I, I think up. he's, um, I think Xanthus has probably got the pickaxe and is about to swing it at the door. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> I come rushing out and grab the pickaxe from your hand and sort of start backing away from the door. We, uh, we should go. Uh yeah, Xanthus is just going to latch onto you like a limpet at first. Um, That's so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I I tried to get in, but I couldn't get in. I I know I promised I'd stay with you, but what what do you want from me? I'll 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 do anything for you. It's okay. Yes, uh, we're gonna go um, because Bev's whole family is real axe murdery. <laughs> um, okay, that. That's not a bad idea. Um, um, ever y'all coming out after us at all, or can we just like walk away? Yeah, I think I look at. I'm like, it's like where the three of us like walk forward, but then we just stand like at the um, yeah at the entrance to the bomb shelter, and but I feel like the camera there's like a. a 
it, it's like mirroring as well, where you're standing there uh, with Xanthus like h- holding you, but you are splattered with blood from when you killed Dennis last time, right? Yeah. And I'm splattered with blood f- yeah. from when I killed uh, Rodney. Wait, yeah. no, it was Rodney. So we both have Rodney's blood on us. And it's like, it's like creepily sprayed in a similar pattern. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's real. And I just like meet your eyes. But I don't do anything. Great. So, Bev, I will tell you one thing that does happen, uh, and it gets stronger as soon as um, as soon as Mal slides into the car and gets the hell out of there. <laughs> um, because you know he's only a sibling by magic and and custom. Uh, feel free to use uh to use uh, Rhonda or Debbie's power, if you wish. Ah. Because the three, the three living sisters can now share each other's power. Cool. Oh. Hmm. Yes. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> it is. I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep that in mind. Cool. Uh, okay. Um... So I think the logical thing to do is to uh, throw uh, Luca, Wendy, Xanthus, and Mal together when you get back into town. Um, by the time you get to town, the, there's cops uh, running around going, it was a false alarm, everyone. It was a test that went bad. We apologize for the inconvenience. <laughs> no one's about to die. So where do Malcolm and Zan find Wendy and Luca is my question. Mm. Where are you guys? I imagine we're coming up from the basement. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, uh, so she's still be at friendlies? Yeah, we're probably walking out of friendlies. I imagine instead of my overalls being like up on my shoulders, I sort of have them tied around my waist and you know, obviously my undershirt back on, but. Cool. So do we maybe just stop the car because we see you and like offer you a ride home? Like that seems like a friendly thing to do after a crisis. This is where I think I just glare at Dennis. Hey guys. uh, Hey. Are you all right? Do you guys need a ride home? Or anything? I was fantastic, actually, but now I have a reason for concern. What concern? Why? You. What did you do to my friend? I say, pointing at Dennis. Oh, I'm. Don't worry, Wendy. It's me, the traveler. The what? I know it's you. I want to know what happened to that adorable, wonderful smelling boy that you were inhabiting just yesterday. His consciousness or his body? His body. I believe that's on ice in the bomb shelter now. What? Uh, yeah, we had kind of a weird one. Yes, he was, he was stabbed. It was... I'm by... still not entirely sure what was going on. By who? You know, it's an interesting question. By who? Yeah. By who, Mal? I I don't actually know his name, but one of um, Bev's brothers, I think. Yeah. Uh, the Kurtz family. The whole family is very Macbeth. Hamlet? Very Hamlet. Um, and now I'm pretty sure I'm on their list. So, well, that's just unacceptable. I, you know, I agree, Wendy. I agree. The way Bev looked at me, I just don't want to be murdered in a bomb shelter. What? Like two people died in that bomb shelter. Who died? Two of the all the all the brother all of her brothers are dead. It's just three weird sistery Bev. 
but somehow you're now t intertwined in this. How did you get intertwined in this, Mal? It was, I was just nearby. I, um, we'll, take, really we'll take that, we'll take that, that's right. Well, Let's just beat her brother to death. Which one? Rodney? No. Oh. Okay. Does it matter? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. It was one of them, but it was either do that or not get into the bomb shelter because we thought this was a real drill. Hmm. Uh, well, I for one will uh, take your, your ride. Uh, I think we should talk. Yeah, get in. What name are you using now? I say glaring at the traveler. <clears throat> uh, one moment. Dennis. Dennis, walk with me, please. Um, all right. I grab his ear and I twist it really hard and drag <laughs> him down the street. <laughs> what are you doing? You, you, <clears throat> demonstrating no, no. something to you. That's some undignified shit right there. <laughs> hey, speaking of which, by the way, Mal, you have an enormous urge to protect the traveler. Shit. I I, I'm pulling the a string on you. <laughs> I jump out of the car and chase him down and grab a hold of Wendy to pull, uh, to pull Wendy off of the traveler. All right, I back up and just sort of throw my hands up. Good. I'm glad we all agree. Wendy, if, don't worry. My race can survive the transfer of physical bodies. She's There's not worried a, about you, dude. There's yeah. a lot of things I can do to you that would not permanently harm your vessel, but would make your life very uncomfortable. I That's want that true. pelt back. Oh. You so got one of my your plan was to threaten me into no. giving you back the pelt. No. My plan was to voice my displeasure at you and demand it back. Hmm. Pretty sure it's in the bomb shelter. The problem... The problem with your primitive understanding of magic is that it mostly works by what you think it is. Therefore, it is very easy to manipulate verbally. Malcolm, I give you her pelt. It's yours now. Go pull another string on you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, then so we have her, her pelt now? Yep, apparently. You own it, so it, it doesn't matter if you have it or not. As far as Wendy's concerned. I have then it. We, then we have a deal, I say, reaching out my hand to Dennis. Um, okay. And kick him square in the balls. <laughs> and then turn. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, yeah. uh, he I, just goes down. I, how does the pelt work when I have it? You can ask me to do a favor, and I get plus one uh, forward while doing that favor. And um, <clears throat> it's sort of like a fey promise that I really, I really don't want to break it. OK. Uh, hey, Wendy. Yes. Now that I'm the one that has your pelt, mm -hmm. I think I need you to promise me that you're never going to lay hands on the traveler again. Understood. I say smiling really large. <laughs> uh, how's your nuts, man? Physical pain is transitory, Malcolm. <laughs> 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 I pat him on the back. I'm like, yeah, keep telling yourself that. <laughs> you want to walk home or you want to get in the car? Uh, yes. The, the, the conveyance will be more than acceptable. <laughs> At some point, I would like to use some of my sibling moves. I, I I encourage, applaud, and, and reward this action. Okay. Um, so I'm going to... How does this work when I'm using it on, like, a PC, though? Like, because if it's an NPC, they just do it, right? But is there, like, a 
a role that they can do to like counter you're ta- that? You're talking puppets? Yes, I am actually. So they move the way that you want. Uh, I'm going to figure out what happens as people do things. I think certainly uh, with the right circumstances, a resistance would uh, result in uh, a, a, a hold steady type thing. Or, ga- or a gaze into the abyss to find a way out of this. Okay, well, I, I'm going to spend a string for Luca to get out of the car and walk towards the police station. Uh, Kentucky. Uh, so, yeah, Luca, what do you do? Uh, well... At first, I don't think I'm noticing anything, so I'm just going to do that. Great. I guess <laughs> I just feel the urge to go to the police. Okay. Um, just and then I'll one, go there to find you. All right. Just one sec, guys. Uh, there's somewhere I need to go. I just wander off. Cool. All right. So I guess let's put the two of you together then. <laughs> yeah. What's this police station like in Kingsport? I don't imagine it's that big an affair. Uh, you know, they have a they have their own police force with the chief of police, uh, a couple constables. Um, uh, I think it gets bigger later, and maybe eventually the Massachusetts State Police does stuff. Uh, but for now, it's it's fairly quiet. Most of the police are out right now trying to, you know, prevent riots from erupting downtown. Uh, okay. But there's probably the desk sergeant on the inside. Yeah, I think I've changed out of my uh, shirt and skirt so that I'm not blood splattered. Uh, I think I probably told one of my sisters to burn it. Oh yeah, yeah, Simon. I think you do get um, you do get an experience because I'm spending a string question mark. That, that seems fair. That seems fair to me. I mean, okay. certainly at least just because for being a good sport, you deserve an XP and going along with this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so I I'll like nod to the desk sergeant and then I'll like beeline for Luca. Luca. Just like the idea that I, I was like in front of the, uh, the front desk and they're asking, "Why are you here, sir?" I I have no idea. Yeah. Okay. I'll pull you aside. Oh. Oh, Bev. I've killed both of my brothers. I heard. I killed Rodney by bashing his head against the wall and I killed Troy by strangling him. And I think I need to roll keep your cool or something like that. I support this move. Yeah. Tell me what you're afraid of. I'm afraid of losing my shit right now and lashing out physically in the police station. This seems fair. Uh, and I am not cold at all. Huh, I rolled seven, so it's a six. Ah, uh, good. No, it's not. Okay, well, uh,. Yeah, what I was planning on doing next is doing uh, Echo in here. Cool. Spending a string for um, Luca to echo exactly what I just said to the this Death Sergeant. This is fantastic. Um, this is what I think happens. Mal walks in very stiffly, <laughs> very strangely. Uh, okay. Looks at you both, then looks at you, and in a very creepy voice just says, Keep in mind, Miss Hunter that the link can go multiple directions. I'm going to take Luca with me. 
We should talk. Find Malcolm later. What do you do? Um. Well, I'm still going to spin the string. Um, and so, Simo, you can decide if Luca shouts that at the desk sergeant while he walks out of there, or if he doesn't. It's either way, up to you. No, I... If, if I have the option, I won't shout. I won't shout this. Or I, I, I might, I might start to do it, but it, it gets caught in my in my throat, and I'm struggling. I'm start, I'm struggling with it, and trying not, really try hard not to. Okay, cool. Uh, so are you refusing the string, basically? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, excellent. So, uh, so yeah, Luca is losing it so bad that they can't really talk. And Mal, you're going to snap out of it right now. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, like literally every time, though, I feel like I'm about to throw up my entire internal organs. Ugh. I go up to you, Mal. Are you, are you okay? Me? Yeah, I mean... Do you need water? No. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Joseph, can we have some water? I say to the desk sergeant. My Christmas hunter. How's, no. your, fa how's your father doing? I'm not sure. He was at work. Well, I'm sure everything's fine now. Uh, we, we sent somebody up to the cannery. Besides, they've got an excellent fallout shelter there. Thank you. I take the water and I pass it to you. Well, and my I feel like my demeanor is very different from usually how it is when I step yeah. out of the house. Mal's looking at you and is like, why are you being so cool right now? Is that what you say? Yeah. Are you not nauseated? Don't people who are nauseated sometimes want water? Yeah, but, and I like glance around at like to see if there are any, is anybody nearby and like nobody can hear us and I lean in and I go, the last time I saw you, you were covered in family blood. And now you're acting normal. I'm going to lean in. So were you. I mean, you yeah. Seem, you seem pretty normal right now too. Please roll plus cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. One of us. Both of us? Question mark? Who's, who's no, it's you, Bev. It's you, Bev. <laughs> Please, you shut, you shut Mal down pretty hard. Huh, interesting. I rolled a six and then plus two, I think. Yeah. Uh, it's think. eight. You'll get a condition, but you could do something to Mal. Oh. <laughs> so you already have like a sibling to me mm -hmm. oh two people present already have a, like a sibling to me um i don't know if i necessarily want to give you a condition because do you have a do you have a string on me um let me look i do not i'll get one on you okay um and I get to give you a condition, right? Yes, you do. Um, what conditions do you have now? Let me see. Let me see. I have the blood packed. Okay, I'm. I'm just gonna put cold blooded. It's true. It's true. It's accurate. That seems fair. Uh, cool. Oh shoot. So it seems as of right now, your initial plan to get Luca to confess to uh, all the murders <laughs> isn't flying. Um, so I was trying to think, I'm, I, I almost feel like I want to skip forward in time a little, but I want to also check to make sure everybody is cool with that. No. All right. I'm cool with it. So cool. Um, yeah, let's take a let's take a quick tour around Kingsport as a few days pass, and uh, the crisis 
in Cuba seems to have come to a point over the weekend and uh, then it's subsiding and people are starting to breathe a sigh of relief and life is apparently getting back to normal except for the fact that, you know, there are some missing hunter kids, but they're off at college and uh, the Halloween dance is coming very soon. I really want to see how Xanthus and Mal are doing. I really want to know if um, Dennis is still going to be my date. Because <clears throat> that was who I asked to the dance, right? Was the Traveler? You asked Connor. I asked Connor, but only after he was the Traveler. That's true. Um, that will be scene number two. Cool. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so where are we, Xanthus? Uh, wherever you want to be. How about rehearsals for the play? Yes. That sounds great. Um, Xan, uh, I mean, Mal. Mal shows up, um, a couple of minutes late and, like, walks over to you, sits down next to you, and is like, I'm really sorry that I'm so messed up. No, that's that's quite right. It's it's not your fault. I I still don't know what's what's really going on. Truth be told, but um, look, I I really meant what I said the other evening. I if there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, please tell me what you want me to do, and I will do it. And he like leans in and puts his head on your shoulder and just says, just be around me. You made me feel better. Everything's crazy. Are you sure? Yeah, for now. I mean, if Wendy tries to, or if, uh, if Bev tries to murder me, you know, maybe stop her. Of course. I will protect you. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure if she's gonna or not, but she's got to whole murder vibe. Um, yeah. That seems cool. Uh, okay, so you, you want to see we want to see Wendy and Dennis, huh? Cool. Uh, so uh, I guess you find Dennis after school. Writing so notes actually, in, the, in the traveler's notebook, or where do you I find? I also it? forget something else. I forgot something else. Um, I wrote down that Luca and uh, Wendy were supposed to go on a date. Did Did Luca have a a date to the dance? I don't remember. I think we're supposed to be together, but then you have to travel. So yeah, I don't. I think I'm gonna. Just not with him. <clears throat> he doesn't set the sea anymore. <laughs> no, I, I think. Yeah, I think I smooth things over. Try to smooth things over with you. I think that's more me wanting to check in then and see if we're still, still going. <clears throat> mm. What if the traveler is confused about human custom? <laughs> and shows up to take you to the dance at the same time as Luca. <laughs> to, you don't have to, but I think it would be funny. <laughs> uh, well, I think it would be funny too. I was yeah. actually going to ask Wendy to the dance as well, but no biggie. Hmm? I was actually going to ask Wendy to the dance as well. Oh? When were you going to do that? Somewhere uh, whenever. In Whenever it's uh, fictionally appropriate. <laughs> okay. So we have multiple currents going here. Uh, so let's stage the scene before the dance. Uh, and we can do the dance as the second half tonight. Um, I think it would be hilarious if everybody... If the two suitors show up at the boat. Are we um, three? Yeah. Traveler Bev and me. Yep. Who wants to who wants to arrive first? 
I want to arrive last. Perfect. Uh, okay, so I think Bev should arrive first then. Sure. Yeah, I just remembered that that was one of my like backstory things. Was that like I don't want to lose Wendy or something? So I, <laughs> I should play into it. Um, yeah, I show up. Um, I'm wearing like a you know white collared shirt and a tan skirt, um, loafers or whatever, and it's it's everything's pressed and I look very put together but I'm biting my nail and I like, I'm like standing there and I like knock. Uh, so you're definitely going to get a rather cold look from Wendy. Yes, Beverly. She was wiping her hands off. Uh, Wendy would you like to go to the dance with me no I think you should roll <clears throat> For shut you down? Yes. Awesome. Let's see also if I have any strings on you. I certainly hope I do. Yes. You have two, I think. I'll give you two. Yeah. <laughs> That's a twelve. <clears throat> I don't have any strings on you. Do you want to gain another on me or do you want to give me a condition? Um I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. I think I want to give you the condition faker. Sure. I'll take it. Cool. Uh, I so. Yeah. I think, I this, hmm? Oh, keep going. Sorry. Yeah. So I don't know how. I don't know how you can be like you are with your family and then come up to me and pretend that nothing's wrong. I... <laughs> I see. But... I'm sorry for this... intruding and I walk away. <sighs> Hello, Wendy. According to my notes, uh, we are scheduled to go to a uh, courting ritual of some kind this, uh, in a few days. Uh, yes, I am to ask what type of flower you would like for your corsage. Um, I changed my mind. Do you, do you not find this form pleasing? I, I understand that it is a different hue, but... A different hue? Dennis is African-American. No, I, I saw this. Oh, okay. Sure. That's... Not even remotely the problem. Oh, good. Oh. Hmm. Yes, it was sad about young Mr. Connor. Yes. And I kn no, you don't get to say it's sad. Uh, you don't understand what any of us do up here. You don't work that way. And uh, go pretend with somebody else. Roll plus cold, please. <clears throat> She's actually like on the verge of tears. Eventually, she's going to fail one of these. <laughs> 14. <laughs> not, not today. <laughs> what, what would you like to uh, do to uh, the Traveler? 
Jeez. I never thought... The Traveler does, I think, have a... Yeah, the Traveler string... Uh, wait. Yeah, it has one string on you. Uh, he no longer has any strings on me. That's probably a good plan. <laughs> I stomp to the end of the boat. You know what I want from you first? Well, you know what, what I would it? want before I continue with any of your little play acting? For you to show one single, solitary, human emotion. How inefficient. inefficient. However, I do feel that perhaps some service is still owed to you, though you are a most impertinent human. Well, not exactly. Not exactly human. And then no. walk. So Dennis goes walking away. Uh, I guess cue Luca. Now I'm really worried. <laughs> um, hey, Mandy. Just I hold him and squeeze him and cry at buckets. <laughs> and I'm getting yeah. grease all over you. And I, I like fumble an apology. I think you should roll plus hot here. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Here's... I, I approve. Uh, knock one back. How? Uh, so that's still an eight. Uh, okay. Luca, do you want to take a string or do you want one of the reactions? That's a nine. Uh, okay. Take a string, take a string, take a string. Take a string? Hmm. I, I agree a lot. I have like two tokens from you. <clears throat> the you, have, you have a second token from me. You have the, the pearl. Yeah, I have the pearl and uh, the other thing. Uh, no, I think I'm going to press you something I think you want, and that is me to take care of you right now. That's you do you do seem to need company? That's perfect. That, does this does this? I mean, yeah. She just she just wants uh, company. I was coming to check uh, to see what costume we could get to the Halloween. But uh, yeah, whatever is happening to you right now, it's more important. <clears throat> I'm. <clears throat> Look, uh, I'm, I just want to hear about you, okay? Just talk about you for a while. I just, I just sort of want to listen, okay? And puts my head on your shoulder. Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. We don't have to do that on camera if you're uncomfortable, <laughs> like, ad-libbing all that jazz. So what I want to know is, oh, go go ahead. No, um, yeah, I think I think we're going. Uh, let's veil that, but um, I think I'm still going to give uh, a, a you a string on me just for because yeah, I'm going to talk about myself, and so you're going to know more about me. Oh, I'm getting so many strings from the one person I don't want to spend them on. <laughs> so my question would be, uh, are, are, did you trigger your special moves? I mean, because it doesn't have to be physical. It can just be intimacy. I mean, I definitely think we're being intimate, like, you know, waiting, not waiting, but walking along the stony shoreline and letting the mm -hmm. cold water at least lap over my feet is, yeah, it's a pretty intimate and vulnerable place for my character. So unfortunately, uh, I, now that I read your move exactly, uh, Luke has been a little virginal, or else you could gain strings on people. Um, cool. Uh, we can, I'll you. We can figure out the sympathetic token, I guess, after the break. Yeah, that's. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, hey, uh, Xanthus, here's what I'd like to pitch to you. Yeah, that, go ahead. as a special uh, as a special segment of the Halloween dance, uh, you're going to be allowed to put on uh, Act Two, Scene Three of The King in Yellow. Excellent. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to brew up with you guys uh, when we get back. 
Uh, nuclear annihilation has been mostly avoided. Therefore, I must, um, we'll, we'll just see how well you destroy yourselves. So cool. <laughs> um, let's take five. So uh, return at five of the hour. And great. I'll see you all in a minute. Um, so uh, um, I'd, I'd quite like to just do another quick scene before the dance, if that's okay anyway. So if you want to... Sure. Uh, how's that working? So um, at, at school, at some... Well, probably after school at some point, um, I want to corner Bev. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah we, sure. We can totally do this. Um, so yeah, um, uh, Xanth is going to come up to to Bev. Um, he's you know going to be doing his best to look intimidating, but it's really not his his strong suit. Um, I said, look, I don't know what's been going on, what happened at your house the other evening, and I don't need to know, okay? But I'm warning you now, if you do anything to hurt Mal, I will end you. Do you understand me? Do you know that Mal... Yes, I understand. Good. Um, do Does think... it matter? Oh, I'm oh, no. sorry. I was going to say, do you think that's a shutdown there? Or... Sure. Yeah, roll for it. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, that's that's actually an eight. That's uh, better than I was expecting. I don't think I have any strings on you either. I think I'm afraid of you or something. So I think you have strings on me. Is that? Am I confusing? Um, no. No, it doesn't look like I've got strings on you either. So uh, no. So do you want to gain a string on wait, me, or did you already? Did you already burn your two strings on Xanthus? Because he's a fae. He gives us two strings, or he gives a string to everyone, I think. Oh! Uh, yeah, so, so you might have a string on me. Yes, because you weren't oh, yeah. in session okay. when I came in. So yeah, you should have a string on me. Um, oh, do you want me to just else. get rid of that? Um, or, up to you. <laughs> um... No, I think actually I'm going to let you keep that string on me. What I Are think gonna... I might do is take one forward for if if you do act against Mal, it's probably, sure. um, yeah. and you get to give me a condition. Um, oh. Um. Well, yeah, I, I think, like, there's like a really long and probably awkward to other people, who if they're like passing by, they're like. Like, okay, this is really weird. But maybe not to us. Uh, pause. Oh, shit. Does it not matter to you that... That he could also be a killer? So this is not, this is not a moral ground that you're standing on. Is what I say. No, it. I promised him that I'd look after him, and I will. I see. Mm. I don't know what condition I would give you. I think I'll give it like 
I'll give you a naive. That's fair. Cool. So, Mel, you're really going to the dance with Xanthus, huh? How openly? Or are you just going as buds? You know, bruh. Bruh. What's up, bruh? I'm going to dance with me, bruh. Oh, God, girl. <laughs> um, I think... I think that Mal doesn't really give a shit how people see him. Sorry, so I think, Kitty was just being insanely cute. Hi, stupid. Through Hall of Fame? Okay. Um, I didn't realize he was back there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think uh, as long as Xanthus is cool with it, they're fairly open about the fact that they're just there together. Well, he is English. And yeah, that yeah. sounds cool. In the eyes of the Americans, he's halfway there. <laughs> Okay, cool. So you're getting uh you're getting dressed for the Halloween dance mm -hmm. and you have that sudden headache again. Oh no. And you find yourself back in the room with with uh, Kay. Malcolm. Yeah. I have several pieces of news. Perhaps you'll find them good. Our mission is almost over. That's that's good. After this, I will only contact you if you wish to continue our relationship. If you do, I will have use of you to support our agents in the times that they visit. I, uh, we use people. You are very useful to us as you psychically allow us to share some of your perceptions without having to completely overwrite them. So you want me to be like a weird psychic safe house? No, you will help our agents on the ground and help the other humans who help us. And some consider it a very noble profession. We of course will help you. Certainly the uh, alien CIA. Certainly going through college will be much easier with our assistance. Yeah, I mean, doesn't sound like a bad gig. Yes. We are guided by necessity. The necessity of this mission required us to intervene. But in the future, the necessity will be different and our relationship will change. Now, the second piece of news, the performance of the play must not occur. That, why? It is dangerous. It's a play. And spells are words that are chanted by weird people standing in the woods, and yet they have power too. What am I supposed to tell Xanthus? I ask you to intervene because you understand humans and this human in particular. I'm not really asking you, you understand. Yeah, I know. You, I know. you must do this. This is part of the mission. He's going to be so bummed. Can we do a different play? Is it just that there could be no theatrical performance this evening? Or is it the I doubt game? you have time to do a new play, but you are free to resolve the situation however you wish. I'm just telling you, by any means necessary, this play must not be performed. Third, and my final, the final service I ask of you is only a request. Whether you fulfill it or not, I will count it as complete. It is too late for us to do anything for Connor's human body. I'm sure you understand that. Yeah. If your friend Wendy returns to her kingdom with his body, he will have a form that we can return his consciousness to. Otherwise, you'll be cared for and kept safe. 
in a body when we have them available, in the archives when not. It is not a human existence, but it is not death. Which one's better? I am not well versed enough in human emotions to tell you. I'd ask you to let me know what they're like, but I would rather skip that experience. I mean, we, I got one in the corner, so we could just try. Huh? I'm good. 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 I have a date. Not. Uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll mention that to Wendy. Mal, mm. you're not the first human I've worked with. I generally avoided working with humans so young. I just want you to know, I understand it's been very difficult. And you've done the best you can. And I am proud of you. Okay. You're going to make Bye. me a little sad. Well, your emotional state is your own concern. Goodbye, Malcolm. We may never speak again. But I hope we do. Yeah, me, me too. Cool. And not have the worst headache on Earth. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so the thing I think I want to see is uh, is Luca and Wendy arriving or getting picked up or however you guys want to do that. But when you get getting to the dance. Huh. I haven't thought about that. Well, let's uh, fulfill some societal norms. Uh. <laughs> I suppose the question to ask is, what's your costumes like? Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure Wendy came up with the with the costume for Boss of Us. <laughs> let me let me let me think on it for a second. <clears throat> Neptune in a sea nymph, except Wendy's Neptune. It's a little too on the nose, I feel. Yeah, but I'm actually cool with that. <clears throat> Ahab and Starbuck? Ahab and the whale? <laughs> Sexy whale? <laughs> We could do that. We could do what well, a sexy whale. I, I sexy Halloween costume just taste not good things. Um, that's fair. That's fair. I I like the idea of yeah, um, him saying, "Oh, you should just." take something from like literature. And so she's like, what is the most uh, famous literature from this region? Oh, <laughs> so yes, I totally love Ahab and the whale. I will douse myself in white uh, boat paint, which I'm sure is totally not toxic. <clears throat> Maybe and, not to you. And yeah, I'll go as the white whale for his, yeah, for his Ahab. I love this idea. Excellent. So yeah, I want to see grease this... paint under your eyes so you look appropriately like worn down. Uh, so yeah, let's just do a scene where you guys either arrive or get ready or however you want to stage well, this. Just want to ask, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be. Ahab. Ahab. Uh, Ahab, a uh, uh, sea captain with a leg uh, um, made from a sperm whale's jawbone. <clears throat> okay. All right. He was obsessed with finding his white whale and gets his whole uh, crew killed as a result. Spoiler alert. <laughs> okay, I see.
So any sort of nautical stuff is fine. <clears throat> Just yeah, I, I, I'm seeing picture now. Yeah, you just sort of have to stand uncomfortably when people are taking pictures. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Moby Dick, my favorite American novel. I haven't read it. What is it with me and mentors and them loving Moby Dick? I, I, that, your emotional state is your own concern. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. So... You know what I like the I like the idea of can Wendy can probably sew, can't she? She definitely can. <clears throat> I like the idea that the costumes are like really oh, good. Yeah. It's it's established that she makes her that she's altered and cur and made her own uh sackcloth dresses and stuff. So yeah. I think awesome. when you walk in everybody kind of just like blinks because it's so well done. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I got attention to myself on a trailer like that. I like probably that. got some like, like, some sort of very tight sort of fabric to do the peg leg, like, <laughs> like probably tights or like a single, or like a long, like thigh high sock. That's. Mm. Yep. <clears throat> It's yeah. I love this. Love it so much. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Do you mind if I cut over to Bev then to get her entrance in? Or okay, cool. All right. Yeah. So Bev, uh, do you go to the dance, or are you sitting at home moping with your sisters? Of course, I'm going. Okay. This is what hunters do. You go to things you don't want to go to. Uh, so Debbie is old enough to go to this thing too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, oh my god, this is probably like your first big formal dance, isn't it? It is. At high school. Yeah, so she she's actually being quite big sisterly and helpful and, you know, picking out clothes for you. And, and she just, there's a moment when she looks at you and just says, so what are we going to do? It, it, I guess the blood pact is bonding Luca and, and Mal to us. They're not family. Yeah, but the curse hasn't changed yet either. I'll go release them. When you say release... <laughs> I'm tired of this game, W. I'm tired too. I I don't see why I have to murder my sisters just because father says we have to. By the way, have you talked to father yet? He's been avoiding me for some strange reason. Same. I think I also, saw... Hmm? Oh, go ahead. No, no, I think I saw him with Rhonda the other day, but uh, I don't think he liked what he was hearing. Yeah, well, it's Rhonda, so that's not actually normal. Why am I dressed up as Macbeth? Family tradition. I'm going as Queen Mary. Don't... Is this not a little on the nose? We're a, we're a supernatural family out of an Edward Gorey cartoon. Um, I just say flaunt it. I don't. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I like adjust my like super uncomfortable um like collar. I'm not putting on that mustache. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, so I think now the thing is to find Xanthus and probably Mal. Sure thing. Um, I think um, Mal had some ideas costume-wise. Yeah, I'm a dork. <laughs> um, so Mal... 
uh, got these really elaborate, um, super French looking like black and white masks and like dress them up as like opposite domino pieces. So they're black and white and inverse of each other and like super gay looking. <laughs> Like real elegant, but super gay. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, we, do we get ready at your house or my house? Um, or do, do we just meet at the thing? Yeah, poss uh, possibly get ready at uh, my house um, and then move on. Yeah. I feel like your parents probably have less of a problem with our existence than my parents, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, that sounds fair. Yeah. Um, yeah, Mal walks in basically all in costume with like the mask in his hand and is like, you look real cute. Uh, thank you. Um, it rather suits you as well. I wasn't sure with you being British if you would object to the whole French thing. <laughs> no, we've uh, we've had a few hundred years to get over that now. Yeah, old countries, long memories. I don't know. Um, I uh, I'm nervous because I've not gone to a thing. You know, there's rumors, but I haven't gone sort of officially before. I I understand. Um... Same, obviously, um, but I'm I'm sure we'll be fine. Um, and Mal kind of grabs your hand and is like, "If anybody gives us any shit, I'm just going to punch them." I'm not very good at punching, but uh, I'll do my best to uh, help out. Yeah, I think Mal just kisses him on the cheek, and we can. Yeah. Yeah. And yet he'll put the um, mask over his face and tie it on. Yeah. I thought you wore no mask. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that that could still happen. Um, cool. So, yeah, it is the Halloween dance. Uh, unexpectedly, uh, Luca and uh, Wendy are the bells of the ball. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, everybody like freaks out about your costume it, because it actually like shows you all your shape off to its best advantage, and yeah, it's what it's that whole pretty and pink thing. They're like, "Who's that girl? Is that that girl who works by the docks? <laughs> Is that that girl that was covered in grease and that the the super shy kid?" <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So, and then of oh, course yeah. there's. There's Mal and Zan, which goes over uh, differently. Yeah, you know, first people just think that it's like a, a a thing, like you're doing some kind of cool theater geek thing. But then, um, yeah, people are starting to give you the cold shoulder. You're getting weird looks from the girls, and the guys are just sort of avoiding you. They're like, ah, gay panic. Except for Sammy Francis. Aww. <laughs> Uh, the the super popular sports geek kid comes over and finds you by the punch bowl. It's like, hey, you know, uh, I don't know what you guys are doing exactly, but you know what? Good for you. Because, like, it shouldn't matter, right? No, it, sh it shouldn't, Sam. I mean, yeah. if you find somebody hot, you find them hot, right? It's true. Um, exactly, yes. Yeah, you know, everybody thinks I'm a little queer because I don't care about it. I don't know why people care about it, you know? If they smell good, they smell good. I agree. So, yeah. So, uh, I got a part in this uh, this play thing, right? I got to, like, carry a spear or something? Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, um, actually, Zan, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, of course. Um, Sam, we'll be right back. Yeah, 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 you two, uh, yeah. You Okay. We're not going to do anything weird. We'll, we'll be right back. I don't think it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I pull him to the side of the punch table. Um, so, you know my my friend, Kay? Yes. Uh, before we came here tonight, he told me that we, we can't put on the play. 
Really? Why have not? He said it's dangerous. Oh, that's quite ridiculous. I mean, there have been one or two riots, certainly, but it's nothing. Yeah. Um, he just said it was dangerous. And I, I mean, I intergalactic time being kind of believe him. Um, but I also don't want you to be disappointed. But what if we do something else? Instead. I suppose. I, are, you, are you really sure? Are, are you really set on this? I don't think he would lie. And he doesn't have a sense of humor, so it's not a joke. Uh, we do have strings. I have strings on you, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, um... Yeah, I'll pull one. So... Yeah. Well... For you, if you think it's best, fine, we'll, we can, we can do something else. Yeah. I mean, like, listen, you've got like every line, we've got like every line from a couple of other plays memorized. We can just pick one. We could do the Scottish play, really freak people out. Uh, yes, why not? <laughs> can I walk in at this point? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Dressed as Macbeth. Yes. And I'm going to walk up to the two of you, mm -hmm. Mal and Xanthus. Ah, Bev, um, hey, lovely Bev. to see you. I suppose uh, formality dictates that I must ask, is anything worn under the kilt? <laughs> I like, I turn and just like give Mal a look like, really? <laughs> um. Are you afraid of me? Oh. A little. Listen, I've Why? had a galactic time being living in my head for the last couple of years, and that's been weird and a little scary, but you, your family's got some weird traditions. You're right. It is my family. I release you. Does that mean you're not going to try and k kill me? I wasn't going to. Great. You're not actually my brother. No. Are you going to kill your sisters? No. I don't cool. Feel like I really it. like the whole like three ladies being badasses thing. It's way cooler than wholesale familial slaughter. Thank you. Oh, would Give you ladies being badasses. It'll be great. David, were you going to say something? Um, no, I was, I was. I mean, I suppose uh, if we are putting on Macbeth, if you'd. Uh... What? I thought it was the king in yellow. We've had a slight scheduling change, but. Um... Technical difficulties. If you uh, if you fancy the three witches, I'm sure we can uh, fit you in. You're also already wearing a kilt. I don't think witches wear kilts. Well, no, but the Scotsmen all do. Do you want to wear my kilt? No, you could be Macbeth. Or like one of the other weird Scottish dudes. Uh, is this some kind of revenge for making you help me? No, do you not want to? You don't have to. I don't. I was just trying to include you. Oh. Oh. 
that's that's nice um sure i look like really embarrassed <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I can get you, we can just, we're just doing like one scene, right? Uh, yes, that, that's probably, uh, probably sufficient. Yeah, so like I can get you a copy of one of the ones that we already know the lines to and, or at least know some of the lines to, and then we can do that. Get you a sword or something. Butter knife. I need to talk to Luca. Oh, okay. Great. And Mal, like, sort of impulsively, like, hugs her real quick. It's like, I don't actually think you're bad. You just scared the shit out of me for a while. Okay, cool. See you on stage. <laughs> like, walks away. <laughs> Too bad about the murders, though. Too bad about the murders. You are. All- Has no one reported us to the cops? I was like, is this a is this the other boot that's gonna fall at some point? I'm assuming that the Hunter family is very, very good at this. Uh the boys are off at college. But since you didn't murder all of each other though, they I don't know, Dad might rescind that protection. All depends on how many six minuses you get. Yeah. Let's let that boot is not necessarily falling yet, but you know, circumstances. Yeah. I'm gonna go and find Luca. Also, I think you could. I don't know how conditions work, but I'm saying that I'm resending like like a sibling to me. So uh, conditions heal when somebody does act, something to uh, to heal them. Usually, it's the person in question, but I think here uh, that it's totally it's totally uh, uh, inbounds to to where he's uh, I want to ha- I wanted to have an awkward scene between the two of them, but yeah, if we want to skip it for time's sake, that also makes sense. Oh no, have you seen? I mean, Simon, I don't want to cheat you out of an awkward scene with Bev. I actually have plans with Bev too. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. So okay, do yeah. we want we don't want to do that scene and not do uh Wendy and Luca first. So so cool, okay. Uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just let Luca decide, so, tell me where you are, Luca, and what you're doing, and who you're meeting. Uh, uh, let's start from Wendy. All right, <clears throat> what was the prompt again for this? Are we just, are we dancing, or... Did you have a different scene in mind? I have forgotten. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, what were our characters uh, doing again? Um, well, dancing's fine. Yes. Okay. Cool. This is really nice. I say to him. I imagine it's a slow song. What's a good slow song from this era? Are there slow songs? I thought they were all like dancey tunes. Put your yeah. head on my shoulder. <laughs> oh, terribly apt. I love it. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess that's the that's the song. And Wendy says. I'm so glad we're doing this. Yeah, I, I'm glad too. It's been a really weird evening. I'm not used to have all the costumes made are very, very cool. People are looking at, at us, at me, at you. I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to feel actually. Oh, I mean, it's. Hey, we're showing them us. It's not you. It's it's not me. You know. <clears throat> yeah. Here you are showing me the time of my life. It's 
It's more than I ever dreamed. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, you. I'm very happy right now too. I, I at the beginning of the month, I, I wasn't sure I could ever even dream of some, having being in a situation as good as this. Well, you never know what the tide is going to wash in. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> you swept me away. So like, yeah. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <clears throat> <sighs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what else I would wanted to uh, wanted to have there. Just aside from like the camera spying on uh, the two of our private moments. Mm-hmm. And oh. that would be a good time for Bev to arrive. I was just going to say, cue Bev. Yep, Bev hovers awkwardly um, on the side while y'all are like spinning or whatever. Um, I don't even think I noticed yet first. Yeah, I'll just stand there. So maybe I catch Wendy's eye first. eyes first. I like look away. Someone's wearing a work shirt as a skirt, I say. What? <laughs> you just follow the side as this me staring straight at Bev, because I'm sure I don't recognize you in that outfit because it's like pretty clearly masculine too. So yeah, you look and you see if you look you see you see Bev as as Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I like when when I catch your eyes, Luca, I like give you this like like come over here, like head tilt thing. Um <laughs> Okay. Um I'm I'm gonna go see what she wants. Um, can you? Can, can you help me, please, Wendy? Sure. Uh, if I'm if I'm not back real quick, please check on me. I will stay within I, I the can, I can I can even if you're restrained. Oh, she's just doing it. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I feel a bad. Do I hear that? Do um, you say that? No, I, I think I'm trying. I'm trying to get to to like maybe whisper it in her ear. Or... Cool. So so, but you might you might see that when I'm talking. I'm clearly talking about you. Okay. And I follow you. Yeah, I just take you to like the corner of the dance floor. I don't know. Mm -hmm. When there's just less people. I think it's just like a couple of steps away. Yeah. I release you. From what? And I'll like... Like hesitate, and then I'll reach out and pat you on your shoulder briefly. Thank you for your service. Uh, how do I say this? You well, you might be done with me, but. I want to make one thing very sure I'm not done with you. Roll plus cold. <laughs> no! You had a bat. Ugh, five. How entertaining. Okay. 
Wait, you have you have strings, you have strings, you have strings, you have strings. I have two strings on you. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, you yeah but I one. wanted to use them for something else. You can only spend one uh, at a time. Does, anyway. does that bump that up by one or two? One. If you spend the string. Oh, I see. Oh, shit. Never mind. Oh, it's a good try, though. Um, cool. Uh, I... Uh, uh, this is what I like to happen. Uh, right at, wait, as soon as you say that, you feel someone loom up behind you, and it's Debbie. Like, Debbie. Are you really sure you don't want this to be over? Because, you know, you could still be our brother. Debbie. I'm just saying. Luca. I don't think you understand, but I'm releasing you from being tied to us. If you don't want that to be the case, I can oblige you, but I will assure you that is not something I want. Oh my god. Have you killed someone with your bare hands before? No. Do you think that's fun? Absolutely not. I didn't right, I think was, so. I was trying not to step in on this, but you got to roll cold at this point. <laughs> I rolled a four plus two is six. But I guess I could spend a string on you to bump it up to seven. Fantastic. So you'll get a condition, uh, but toss something Luca's way. Um, I think I'll give you the condition, um, what's the word for, it's like, what's the, is there like a phrase or like a word for like when someone is like making a lot of assumptions and then thinks that they're right? I want that, but in a like know snappy all? phrase. Hmm? Know it all? Ish. Sort of. Um, full, I feel like there should be full, a word. full of yourself. Low yeah. Home. Yeah, full, full of yourself. I think it's good. I'll give you that. Oh. You know what would be funny? Captain Ahab. Hmm? <laughs> Uh, declaring him his own costume that he's obsessed with something and won't let it go. Oh, true. Yeah, I could do that. Ahab, real Ahab. Okay, real Ahab. Uh, okay. Let's find a condition for uh, Bev. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. Oh, shit. Sure. I was thinking of Cold Blooded, but she already has it. Yes. Oh, you oh, could have nuts. used uh, yeah. my condition. Yeah. Oh. How do you use oh, conditions like the first time? Yeah, yeah. I you point at them and say, there, there's this, you are so this thing, and that's that gives you leverage on somebody. And then that will add one to the role. I think we can count that. So let, let let's let rewind slightly. We can still well, let Debbie come in. You don't you wanna well, No, I think I think I'm fine with where we are right now. Okay. I don't have space for all the conditions that I have. <laughs> maybe, well, maybe I can erase blood pact? Because that's not a really Yeah, thing. actually it's Yeah. Fine. Yeah. I'll have to redesign that section. Uh, um <laughs> um, I want something like you maybe focusing on the wrong thing, some something like that. You oh, yeah, because um, you're, right now you're releasing me from from the from your family, but that's not why I'm talking about. Uh oh, I and what's a good word for that? Um. I know what you mean, but I'm, I'm not 
sure how to put that into a phrase. Misguided? Mis oh, yeah. that could work. Yeah, oh, okay. That works for me. Okay, misguided. Uh, well, still, you did release the blood pack, though. Yeah, so you're not well, like a sibling to me. Okay. I think at this at this point I'm like shouting. Nice. Good. And that's when Wendy's gonna show up. <clears throat> Cause they're shouting. Alright. I I'm going to grab you by shoulders. Look at you in the eyes. Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna let you do that. Okay. So... <laughs> Uh, okay. And I'm well. Okay. So what I'm saying is, I'm trying to help you. Okay. I don't understand why you're trying to start this here. But I'm not here to play these games with you, Luca. And you don't understand. I don't. I don't want any user game. And just the fact that you're thinking it's a game. You think it's you... a game. You don't understand anything about my family. That's why I'm releasing you from it. Why don't you understand this? Do you want to be protected or not? I don't, I don't care. Being I promise to you that I will not kill you, but I can't promise that of anyone else. Do you understand this or do you not? I understand. I don't care about being protected or not. I just want you to, what? Want to, feel, want to, want to feel like really what you are doing, really what pain you bring to, pe uh, to people to your damn family then report me why do you think you're so above everything what do you understand about my family why don't you go to the cops right now and report me i try to get between you two yeah <laughs> right, i take it you're 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 setting up a hex there luca yes yep. yeah my, my neck my <laughs> shite is not in the comprehensible language yeah let's do yeah, this go for it. thing Um, so I took in advance, you have all the eggs. Yeah, I saw that. I, I is... take it you're going with Wither? What is that? Oh, that, that, that would be really bad, but like, that's not what I was, what I was going for. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. That, that would be just, like, plain, plain violent. Yep, fair enough. I'm going to illusions. Okay, yeah, that's... Of, yeah. Uh, of false prophecies, seeing murdering, backstabbing everywhere she looks. Oh, that's a great idea. Cool. And you don't have to spend a string, right? Because we're meeting eye to eye. Yes, exactly. Are you also like chanting stuff? Because I think oh, it's like oh, that's yeah, like no, obvious or something. It, right? Oh yeah, yeah, it's evident. super obvious. I'm really looking. If if people look at us, I'm being weird as fuck. Cool. I actually uh, don't. I really don't care about myself right now. Uh, this is where you get shouted out at Luca. Stop. Okay. From, oh. from Wendy. Uh well. So I I already rolled. Do you have a well? String? Yep. Uh, oh, I, I nope. Yeah, that does. Yeah, you can't pull a string for that. <laughs> yeah, well, I uh, would plus dark. I'm already at eleven. Okay, so the illusions is going to go off without any hitches. Uh, you want false prophecies? Uh, cool. What I think happens is. Um, you, Agatha, um, sorry, Bev, here. Uh, it's like everybody's whispering all around you. Murderer, murderer. But it gets worse because some of the voices sound like members of your family. I think at this point calling for a uh, hold steady move, a keep your cool move is uh, totally appropriate. Yeah, I will roll. Seven plus two is nine. Um, okay. Uh, your choice, if you flee in a panic, um, you'll be out of it, and at least you can suffer through this alone. Um, but if you stay, 
uh, you're definitely going to make some kind of, you're definitely going to run the danger of saying something you shouldn't. <laughs> You can hold it together enough that, you know, you can stay without freaking out. But, you know, with your with all this going on, you, you're not going to be completely sure of everything you may or may not say. Yeah, I think what I like what it looks like from the outside, like perspective, like from other people is like I I'm like turning around really quickly And I think, oh, what do I say? It's probably something like, but you, but you asked me to, but you, but this is what you wanted. And like, I, I think I just stumble like through the, to the party and I'm like crying. Total meltdown. Yeah, and but I think I do leave. Okay. And I'm like pushing people aside. I want to uh I want to stick a pin in this cuz I have an idea. But I do want to check in. Oh, actually now you've lost your you've lost some of your Scotsman, but who's playing uh who is playing Macbeth in the Scottish play? Um I think it will it might actually have to be Dennis yeah. because I did promise him a part uh, in, in the play. Um, oh my God. You're going to put the traveler up to play Macbeth. Uh, how good are you at saying your uh, Shakespeare lines in the wrong order? <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you mean? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I'm terribly sorry, friend. With I thought those lines were in a stack, not a not a cue. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, that's true. Uh so okay. Um I guess you find Dennis and like explain to him and show him he's like, show me the text. All right. Oh. Do I say do I say these parts in italics? Uh no, those are stage directions. You um act those out. Uh, so they re so the there's a staggered repetition of names. Should I say those too? No, those are indicating who is speaking at any given time. Oh, I see. Uh, so I'm not saying everything on this page. No, that is correct. Um, Which parts am I saying? Uh, the 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 bits uh, the the bits that say Macbeth there. I see. All right then. <clears throat> um, okay, fine. Uh, so. You had a thing you wanted to do there, uh, Xanthus, that you asked to move, you wanted uh, that advance for? I'm just curious if this is coming in now or... Um, not not quite yet. Not quite okay. yet. We'll... we'll uh... Okay, cool. Um, I have no idea how this goes. So I think the thing to do... Uh... Yeah. So what's your direction to Dennis? Um, I think, um, I will advise him to, yeah, um, just make sure he says, says the lines that he's, he's supposed to, um, um, Yeah, I, th I think he he'll kind of and and you know try and um, emphasize the emotions that you think you should be portraying at the time. I see. Well, he looks around very well. Why don't you roll plus hot here, uh, Santhus? Because sure thing. he he comes out and he does the sexiest Macbeth. <laughs> He's been spending weeks observing humans. He was well advised by Wendy. He thinks he knows exactly how to play this to humans. So just just roll plus. Oh, Let's to, just to display this. exactly one human emotion. Awesome. Yep. Uh, that's an eleven. Okay. 
Uh, when you, uh, when the scene ends, um, when the scene ends, one of the chaperones calls you over. And Mal, too. And he looks at the two of you. Oh, no. And they're like, don't think I don't know what you guys, what what's going on between the two of you. Don't think I don't, you know. But, you know, like, I, when I was in Korea, you get to know people and you get to learn about all kinds of people. So I'm not going to say anything to anyone. I'm not going to write you up because, you know, frankly, uh, I, I should have both your parents in here to talk about this. Just guys, keep it a little quiet till till you're a little older, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, you guys go have fun. Uh, thank you, sir. Cool. Uh, so, so Luca wants to be in her darkest self, huh? His. His. <laughs> he's a very uh, pretty boy but he is a boy I uh, uh yeah well, I, uh, I but, should be better I well but it's quite right if we were playing with uh, with flags like in the digital world I would certainly have like taking for a woman flag, <laughs> for sure fair enough uh yeah so Luca wants to go into his darkest self huh? well that, that was something I might have wished but I'm not sure I really wanted so that's just no I'm not, just not go there let me, uh, okay, let me spin something for you. So, uh, so, as, uh, as this thing is happening, and you've cast your hex, and you're just seething with inner rage at the Hunter family, is, uh, is that an accurate assessment of your emotion state? Um, it, it's more, it, actually, it's not the wall Hunter family, it's really bad. Okay. Uh, I, I had a revenge thing against her when she threw me into the into the river, and she did murder her brother that I liked. Uh, this strange dark-haired girl who's wearing a Puritan costume. It's super excellent, a incredibly accurate Puritan costume. I mean, Wendy, you see it, and you're like, wow, that is like 1,000% authentic. I <sighs> Uh, comes up to you and just very gently, so gently you can barely feel it, touches your arm and says, Sister, wouldst thou have thy revenge so intently? I had my revenge once, but none profited much from it. It's... It's not about profiting. It's about justice. Justice? Jim makes you the arbiter of justice. Give me give me that bobble. I'm, I'm not it's not it's not not arbiter of like justice as a whole, just my own. Why did you help her? Why did you get involved? Just to build her up and then knock her down? That's not... That's not who I thought you were. I'm not sure who I am exactly either. But... She... Yeah, you, you might want wrong code from that. Uh, just... Just call it yeah. off, please. She's going to spend a string on this. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my heart. Oh, uh, instead of rolling cold, you're going to spend it. You're offering the string. The string. Yep. yep, offering a string to have you um, to... or So spending strings. Can I spend a string to when you offer to when you Yeah, when you dangle a string in front of someone asking them to do something, that counts as offering them an experience point. If they accept, mm -hmm. gotcha. uh, they get the XP. If they don't, you spent that string for nothing. Gotcha. All right. 
String is gone. <clears throat> uh, yes, do you take the XP and call off the hex? Uh, it's not as much the XP I want, but refusing, some, uh, refusing Wendy about something like that. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm born. <laughs> Feels achieved. <laughs> yes. Everybody wins. Ah, uh, uh, I think I think Luca has also the same existential crisis I have right now. <laughs> he can run off. Ooh. Oh, run away. Yes, you can run away. Run away. That seems like the right move. <laughs> And you have such a good uh, stat for that. <laughs> it's runaway is what? Plus volatile. Volatile. Oh, volatile. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh, I still got a seven. Fantastic. Uh, you're gonna get away, but your choice. You run into something worse. You cause a big scene, or you leave something behind. Uh, I love those last two. I, I think uh, we are uh, already causing a big scene, whether I, whether I choose well, that or not. But say, for instance, having literally everyone at the dance see you, uh, Rabbit, that would be causing a really big scene. Yeah, well, pardon me. Instead of an answer, I just give a scream and run away. Yeah, that that works. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, because that's actually it's like disturbing and it's weird. It's like all of a sudden you're far more frightened than you thought you had any right to be. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that that weird girl in the costume just stares and it feels like it bores into your soul and that's creepy as fuck. Uh, cool. Uh, so speaking of the weird, creepy Puritan girl, uh, where did, uh, where did Bev run to? Um, I think Bev ran off probably to the cannery where, where her father is. He oh. usually is there pretty late. That's fantastic. Yeah. Let, let's do this thing. Yeah. Sure, you find him in the office. He's got a stack of paperwork. It's just muttering, I don't know how we're going to make payroll next month. God damn it. And looks up like, oh, hello, pumpkin. Father. And I think it's like just out of like years of growing up in the hunter household she like immediately draws herself upright and then like wipes all the tears and snot away and then wipes her hand with her handkerchief father are you right daughter who will be the heir I have no sons. Is that all you wanted? Don't you understand that this is what it's always been about? <sighs> How many people did you kill? I was lucky. I had one brother and three sisters. Did you kill all of them with your hands? He leans forward. Well, since you ask, we killed all three of them. The last one slowly because she talked back. And 
does that make you happy? That you killed them. And now you get this failing cannery. <laughs> and the power. <laughs> A power too great to leave in the hands of the distaff side of this family, and thus it has ever been. Ever since we married into the Greenwoods. What? Never mind. The origin is unimportant. So, it seems I have a choice. Either allow my little daughter to, I suppose, murder your siblings and we find out what happens to the curse. Or end you all and take a new wife. It's been done before. This sort of thing has cropped up. Yes, you could. I suppose the choice is yours. He's an old family friend of ours, after all. Death. Have I ever told you, Father, that melodrama does not become you? I feel like there's something about to happen here. <laughs> I feel like she has a surprise pistol. <laughs> Um, okay. I don't think, well, I don't think Bev would kill her father unless he was actively trying to kill her. Because Bev is not into murder, believe it or not. Okay, so what do you do? He just sort of leans back and says, have a good night, pumpkin. Enjoy the dance. What will you do with mother? Well, I mean, she's a good woman. I suppose I could just divorce her. It's not like she's a hunter. Or, after all, natural sons will work just as well. I think I walk out. Uh, you nearly bump into this strange girl wearing a Puritan costume. I'm sorry. And I walk around her. Who's the strange girl wearing a Puritan costume again? Oh, a moment, Beverly. If I, may, if I may claim a moment of thy time. Of course. Please. And I think like there's like a sitting area outside of my father's office, uh, office, and I just like gesture for her to sit. And I like go and like prepare tea <laughs> out of habit. Uh, hast thou two sisters? Yes. Yes. Once I had two who were as sisters to me. And in the moment of my death, they stood beside me. Let me now return the favor to my sisters. Go home. Thou shouldst not want to be here for this. I set the tea down in front of her and I leave. Cool. Cool. Um, so, do we need to do anything else at the dance or do we want to swing over into epilogues? 
Um, Swing, I see what you did there. I quite like um, a last little bit. Well, probably yes. a last little bit of the dance. Okay. into epilogue, if that's okay. That is more than okay. It's de jure. Um, so yeah, with with um, Mal, um, um, sort of just after the, the the scene we just had, sort of thing. Um, Zan's just sort of going to be glaring daggers at the back of the chaperone. Um, I'm so tired of all this, the staring, the sneering. Yeah. I want to take you somewhere better. Is there someplace better? I don't know. I've always dreamt that maybe there could be. Will you dance with me, Mal? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, essentially, yeah, begin to dance. Actually, have a song in mind. Put out later. Um, but yes, the um, um, th this this is the point where I'd like to um, activate the guide power, um, which um, Quiet. Uh, lovers. Sorry. Which yeah um, allows me to um, uh, take us to uh, take us across the uh, the veil to uh, the land beyond. Yeah. Um, um, do you guys happen? freak out in the middle of the dance floor or something? Because that would be yeah. Do we just like dance and like slowly fade away? So I think the yeah the the, the way I see it is like we're sort of dancing on the um, on the on the dance floor sort of thing with the other the other kids, and it's one of those sort of things where it kind of the, the sort of camera zooms in on us dancing, and then as it zooms back out again, rather than surrounded by kids, we're surrounded by people in sort of Venetian masks and, and sort of silken robes and stuff dancing around us. Um. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mal for sure freaks out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> once he realizes what's going on. <laughs> Don't worry. It's always the same day in Carcosa. <laughs> True. Cool. I love that. Great gay ending. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yep. See, 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 see how I help you here, Serafina. See, see what I give you here. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. This is almost Sorry, I don't. This is all David. Is, yeah, yeah, this is almost as good as the time I traumatized an entire room of people. So, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Let's, uh, so yeah, let's, let's find out what folks do uh i think the traveler's got to say goodbye to somebody i don't know i guess it's wendy oh, okay. uh we've got luca and we've got uh bev so who wants to do something i mean i'm pretty sure your father's dead bev unless you want to change that somehow yeah i wonder if the power like He's just been stripped of his power, his su the supernatural side of his power, and is just now like a withered man. I can totally see that. Yeah. Would you like me to spin a detail? Sure, go for it. You know how you kept seeing and hearing all the voices of 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 people around you, and some of them were the ones you killed. Mm. He is plagued by the whispering voices of every woman in your family line who was murdered by her family. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he may end up mad and, you know, you are the next old... No, Debbie is the oldest, right? But she may want to go to school or something, so... Yeah, but we keep I, him in our... in the attic of our family estate. Did you just woman in the attic your dad? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes. Seems dramatically appropriate. Oh, yeah. that's so good. I like that. Maybe better, one day, one day a young, brisk caretaker will come here. <laughs> Things will happen anyway. Uh, cool. So, is there anything else you want to spin out of that? Uh, yeah, I think. I think I do end up being the one 
who kind of oh, yeah i think we put um both both uh both debbie and Rhonda to women's college and i i stay and i think like on me <laughs> i have like like i think i sleep in mary's room and not mine and like i think i have a lot of daily rituals that have to do with the different um siblings that i've killed so i think i also keep the the bomb shelter in pristine condition and i have um I actually have like a handkerchief of Dennis and um, I don't know what is Troy's that I have maybe growing up he always like had this lucky coin that he would always like flaunt to us I think that father gave him and I have that as well like sewed into my petticoat wow that that's incredibly awesomely Victorian Beautiful. Um, oh yeah, uh, there are no predicates anymore. Well, so crinolines. There were crinolines until you know the mid '60s. People still wore them. At least sewed into that. <laughs> uh cool. Uh, shall we check in on Luca? <sighs> I'm not sure what happens to Luca. I I think I think he gets into some kind of crisis about if he really did a good thing or not, and how I he he kind of I don't know if he hurt Wendy by uh, by refusing her or not, but he's really not okay with this. Um, probably will shut himself up for some time, and. I guess that one thing to maybe either I will punish himself or something like that. He'll try to. I, I'm, I'm not expecting to roll because it's a dog, but trying to cast a, a X on. I still have a, a lock of Connor's hair, and I know he's dead, so I want to try to scry on him. Interesting. Did I send Connor with to the Selkie land, or did I? I totally well, blanked on saving him. We can we we can ally that. I mean, we all know that we at can the talk table. About that. Yeah, in 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 our epilogues. Yeah, yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. So if you're okay with that, we can just do that as like the natural segue to seeing mm -hmm. uh, what happens with Wendy. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Also, uh, 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 if if you do, you, are you, uh, is Mal and uh, and Xanthus cool with where they are, or do you want to? Do you have anything you need to get in? Um, I think Mal probably does like do some more work for Kay in the future, and it's kind of helpful that he lives in Feyland because he's around longer. Do you know how hard it is to get into this place? Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I just got myself a hot boyfriend. I don't know. Cool. An eternally hot boyfriend. Yay. All right, then. Uh, let's check in with Wendy. So, is does Dennis stick around? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he's not quite done. Uh, but, yeah. So, we can totally have that as part of the scene if you want. Dennis, thank you for trying. Well, Dennis will do. For, for whatever it counts, the mm -hmm. loss of life is sometimes necessary, but it is always tragic. I'm sorry for your friend. Can I talk to him? You might not like that trip. I wasn't planning on it. I just want to know whether he wants... 
if he wants to take you up on your offer to wait until you find a suitable host for him or what. Or if he wants, he could use my body for a day to say his goodbyes to this place and this time and whatever. <sighs> One moment. And he blinks and blinks and blinks and then his eyes open up and he says, Wendy? Hey. Uh, I, whoa. Yes, you they, they told me things would be different. Well, you're being cast as Dennis now. I don't know what happened to Dennis, though. We think we have. I think. I think this is just for temporary. But are you okay out there? Well, I gotta tell you, ever? it takes a little getting used to. And I don't always get to do stuff, but um, I don't know. I, I can't. Yeah, I mean, if I could come back, that'd be great. But you know, they say that it's not possible because I, I ain't got anybody. You know, I ain't got nobody. Yeah, <clears throat> I could take you to my realm, but I'm not ready to leave yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that that's fair. But. If you haven't found a, they haven't found a place for you to go to, I could, I could take you home with me when I'm ready. You know, I've had a lot of time to think about stuff. Trust me, a lot of time. Oh. It would have been better if I had just died. I think. Is, is the better way because everybody thinks I'm dead. Yeah. Can 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 people like you cross hot deserts? <sighs> Probably. Certainly easier in this form than in my native form. Yeah takes a scrap of paper out of the traveler's notebook and writes down a set of coordinate of longitude and latitude. If you ever want to find out, go there, climb down into the ruins of the city and look for the book I wrote. But right. then, uh, by then they tell me if, if I'm still around, they tell me I'm going to be a beetle or something. I don't know. An insect? I I don't understand any of this works. All right. Well, take care. I I miss your smell. I'm. I mean, I, I miss all of you. Really, you're you're a good friend. I loved you too, Wendy. Oh. And I'll hug him, and then either Dennis, Mark One, or the Traveler comes back, right? I think Dennis comes back, and the, he steps back and blinks for a second and says, they told me to say thank you. I don't know who told me to say that. What, where am I? Uh, it's been an interesting week. Dennis, I say, I put Wait. my, I put my, I put my hand on his shoulder and, and walk him in, in, and say, let's uh, let's go for a walk. Yeah, and that's that that can be where it ends. I I like that as the last scene. Uh, everybody cool. All right. Uh, before I forget, I'll go and get that Discord thing up. Um, thank you guys so much. This was a lot of fun. Uh. And look, <sighs> I, got, I got us out on time. Yeah. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, Kingsport 62. Uh, this went a bunch of different directions uh, mm -hmm. that I didn't expect, and that was cool. Yeah. Uh, That's so, part of the fun. Loki, yeah. Loki, say goodbye. Goodbye, <laughs> oh, goodbye Loki. Mom, why? Uh, <laughs> no, no lift, Loki, why? <laughs> <laughs>
I believe beyond any reasonable doubt that all such weapon systems have been removed from the island and none have been reintroduced. So tell me, Xanthus, how exactly does one stage uh, the King in Yellow at a uh, high school Halloween dance? So, yeah, I think um, he's um, probably made it into a sort of semi-musical, um, probably just some, you know, um, rewritten the book for a couple of other show tunes to uh, um, fit the theme. Uh <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm imagining something slightly uh slightly on the tacky side of things um because you know it's it's still a high school production so uh wow yeah that wow i'm now i'm now i'm gonna just be thinking about which musicals the rest, the rest of the night is it's gonna be like yeah <laughs> Carcosa, where the wind comes out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 